So this will be a short video on how to wipe a Chromebook as well as how to set up a Chromebook that you have just purchased. So in order to wipe your Chromebook, meaning that you're going to delete all the local data from it, you're going to press escape and refresh and power all at the same time and you'll notice the Chromebook screen goes black. And it's going to display a screen that says Chrome OS is missing or damaged, which is fine, that's what you actually want. And you're going to then press Control and then the D key. That enters you into development mode. It'll ask you to turn off OS verification, and you're going to do that by pressing Enter. It'll reboot. You're going to press Space. And then it'll tell you to press Enter to confirm uh, that you want to turn OS verification back on. It's going to reboot one more time. And at this point, this is what a Chromebook would look like if you just pulled it out of the box and it had never been opened before. So it's going to pop up, and then it's going to ask you for your internet. Now, this one probably will connect automatically. Oh, no. Nope. Yes, it is. So this one's connected to our school internet automatically because I've gone ahead and set that up. But if you need to connect it to the school internet or to whatever internet, you can do that just in the same way that you would for any computer by selecting the network you want to connect to and then entering the password. So... From this point, I'll move the camera a little bit closer. It says, sign into your Chromebook. So you can sign in at this point, but if you want to enroll your Chromebook in an admin organization, you'll need to actually press Control plus Alt plus E. That's going to change the screen to where it says Enterprise Enrollment. From this Enterprise Enrollment screen, you'll enter in your school admin account. So ours is admin at idaliaco. Dot us, and then you'll need to enter in the administrator password, which you can get from a school administrator. I hope I entered that correctly. I did. All right, at this point, it'll set it up, and it should bring you back. You'll get a confirmation message, and then it should bring you back to the login screen. But from this time on, it'll say managed by adeliaco.us or whatever your uh, admin console is. And any user that wants to sign in will only be able to sign in with that email address, or with that email address suffix, I should say. So I hope this video has helped to see what you can do with these Chromebooks once you have uh, registered them. Watch the next video on, on using the admin console.